What's up everybody and nice to see all your smiling faces. Today I want to show you a behind the scenes video we shot with our beautiful model Julia. Alright guys, let's start with the behind the scenes video. <clears throat> this time, not just the shooting part, but also the retouching, the editing part. Um, right behind the shooting, not separate. You asked me to tell you a little bit more about my retouching to tell you a little bit more about how I choose the pictures, what I like about them, why I dismiss them, what I don't like, what I focus on. I mean, it's very individual. You have to train your eyes. You have to find out what you like, what you don't like, but I'm going to try. I'm going to give my best to tell you what I like, how I choose my final photos. This set <clears throat> is a brand new set, um, never worked with mirrors before. I always, when I uh, try something new, when I have a new set, when I have a new idea, I tell our models right uh, before the shoot or even like in the first communications when I write them, say, do you like to cooperate? Do you like to shoot with us? I want to try like this and that and those sets and in this case I told Julia I want to shoot uh, with a mirror. It's a new idea. I have no experience. I like to use her creativity too. I want to try. I want to fail. <laughs> I want to be creative. I want to learn. The more information you give her, the better it is and usually models are willing to experiment to help you to learn. So in this case, our new set with a mirror. She um, she's using the mirror to uh, look at herself, to pose, to play with the lingerie. That's the purpose. I like to see her as well as uh, through the mirror. And the most important part Always show her the pictures, always tell her what you like, what you don't like. Even if you're a little bit anxious, even if you don't like the pictures, just, you know, tell her. Look, those are the first pictures. I like this or that. I don't like, you know, I want to change something. Make a few pictures, show her again. Feedback. Um, so... I changed my position, tried to shoot from a different angle. She's standing closer to the mirror. And uh, just trying to be creative, trying to figure out how to use the mirror and uh, experiment. Fail and learn. <laughs> And that's another part of, for me, it's a part of learning, it's a part of development, try different stuff, changing my perspective once again, as you can see I'm changing the height I'm shooting from, changing the, from portrait format to landscape format, she's posing just in about a minute, I will figure out that this light setup is pretty shitty. I'm trying to use uh, light from the side. Don't know if you've seen our 
one of our first videos, How I See Light. It's one of our popular videos. I'm gonna link it if you haven't seen it. Uh, in this video I describe my favorite light setups and uh, light from the side is one of those. It's, it's the perfect light setup to highlight her body and that's what I'm trying to do. Um, trying to correct her. It's a little bit too dark, too much shadows on her back. Now I'm trying to correct that. This camera angle is actually perfect to see the light on her back um, when I'm standing actually next to the behind the scenes camera. That's basically the view I have. So we have a beautiful light on her bodies. We can highlight the form of her body because we have shadows and highlights forming a dry angle between uh, her, the model, the light source, our window front and that's always a good setup to create stunning boudoir photos. Moody photos have beautiful highlights on her body. Just another input uh, regarding communication. Um, I try to communicate with Carmen uh, in English, especially if our models don't speak German. So. Julia knows what we are talking about. We have nothing to hide. She has not the feeling we are maybe not happy with her. We are not talking about her. And uh, therefore it's another part of communication. And makes the model a little bit easier to, you know, take part in our conversation and know what we are talking about. and. Just another input regarding communication. Uh, I'm trying to focus now um, how I position Carmen with the second behind the scenes camera so she's not in my picture, she's not seen through the mirror and therefore I can shoot Julia. As you can see, I'm not guiding her like that much, just correcting, you know, a little bit. It's more about the light, what I'm focusing on, more about like the angle I'm, I'm shooting and just try to position her. Now she's way too, too far away from the mirror, too far on the left. Reposition. And to be honest, the set um, didn't feel as good for me. Couldn't find like a flow. I wasn't really happy about the results in the moment. And therefore I decided to um, use the other mirror, the smaller one, and to, to get rid of uh, just in a minute to get rid of the other one. Um, that's like, you can see me handling, a, for me, a little bit of a difficult situation because I wasn't happy with the results. I didn't know at the time what the mistake was. And I'm just, you know, changing stuff, changing things, my angle, format, Try to change her position and uh, in a few minutes we're gonna find a solution. <laughs> now I know. But like it's always just take pictures, look at them and try to find out and figure out do you like them, why do you like them? If you don't like them, what's 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 the problem, what's the matter? Try to change stuff. If you don't know what what's what's going on, what you don't like, just change random stuff. Position her differently, change your change the angle you're shooting. Um, move, change the format, just try different stuff and try to find out what you like. 
Um, the solution is um, just trying or, or just let her play with the mirror. That's the only picture I liked from, from the set um, with the round mirror laying just on the on the chair. Now we change things up. She's holding the mirror. Now she's, she can change the angle of the mirror. So we have another another uh, variable. I'm still trying to use um, light from the side to highlight her body. What's another mistake in this case? And I'm gonna change it to uh, a more portrait friendly light, more light from the front to have beautiful light on her face and therefore better pictures. Another, another thing, another topic, another question I want to ask you. What camera do you use? What camera brand? You can even tell me what uh, camera model you use. When I started photography, there only was Canon or Nikon. And it was almost like a battle of war between them. Um, I started on <laughs> a really cheap Samsung camera because I just was trying out or trying to figure out if I like photography. Was able to get some really nice pictures, not because I knew what I was doing back then, but just because I was lucky, I guess. And um, back at the time when I tried to improve my bu uh, my landscape and city so city photography i was watching youtube videos as you do now and tried to learn from photographers who shared their knowledge whom i very thankful for and um, it was the time when sony came out with the first mirrorless cameras and many photographers especially first in landscape and cityscape were switching to sony and uh, I bought my first Sony camera back then and stayed with Sony. Yeah, but let me know, tell me what camera, what brand, what model do you use. Just write me a short note in the comments below the video. We now finally find the solution. We're using portrait light, more light from the front to have a beautiful lit face. I'm trying to find an angle to see Julia through the wind, uh, through the mirror, but not see me, but or or Carmen. Have a nice background too. We're turning and changing the perspective, the angle I'm moving, as you can see. And you probably mentioned, you probably saw. Always giving her pe feedback. Communication is very important. Showing her results. Telling her what I like. And I mean, for me, the best pose won't work if the light isn't right. So it has always, it's always a combination between having a good pose, having good light, having a good angle, good perspective, good crop, try to tell a story using emotions so for me it was a really challenging shoot um but i'm willing to show you 
<laughs> even my shoots where I fail a little bit, where I have to find out, figure out stuff, where I'm learning. There are still a few really good pictures I like. And uh, I won't give up. We'll shoot with the mirror again. Will improve. I hope I'll get better even using a mirror because for me it's a very interesting perspective. And uh, yeah, therefore, we are almost at the end of uh, our behind the scenes part of the shoot. And um, now we're gonna. Take a look at the behind the scenes, the editing, the retouching, choosing the right photos and let you know what and why I choose the photos. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, let's edit or retouch the photos. Um, before we do that, we're going to select them and choose which one we like uh, and which one we don't like. You asked me to talk a little bit more in detail about my um, my process of choosing which photo I like and which I don't like. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it a little bit. Um, first of all, you probably already know I like to choose the, the, the similar photos, um, similar by style, by pose, by crop. You know, you can do different uh, variations. Um, in this case, um, I'm just gonna look at the pose. Um, first of all, I don't like uh, her arms, the hand placement in this one, so I'm gonna reject it. Um, Give me a second, I just need to go like this, then it. So, I don't like the arms here. I particular, I love this one, especially because it's out of focus in the mirror and it's focus, the focus is on her back. And I like, probably her face, her expressions in this one a little bit more than here. So I'm going to deselect this one. Perfect. Next ones, we're going to choose those. You can go like all the way to here, but I'm going to choose a similar crop. Okay. I don't like the way she's standing here. I love this one. I'm not a fan of her in this picture. Those are pretty similar. I don't like the hair here. So I'm gonna choose this two. So it's you can see it's like it's up to you. It's just what you like, what you don't like, what suits your eye. And therefore, I already told you what it was not the easiest set for me to shoot with her. It just felt a little bit, I don't know, not as fluid, not as natural. All right, um, let's see, I like this one. I don't like the cut. I like the portrait format way, way better. The other cut. I like this one, but I'm gonna deselect the others. So, next one. I don't like facial expression in this one. I like, like, 
um, I like her in this one. She's a little bit shyer. I like that she's peeking at her. I don't like peeking into camera. Next. Let's see. I love the pose. What I don't like is for me the focus point is wrong. For me the focus point should be like here and not in the mirror. So therefore I gonna deselect those. I love the pose here. Don't like like she's standing here. And that's that's probably the, the difficulty when shooting with mirrors that she has to be posing so that it looks good like how she's standing and also in the mirror as you see it in the mirror so that's a little bit a little bit difficult it's like here I don't like her legs in this one even here not a fan of, of her pose here I love those and I'm gonna choose. I think the chin is a little bit too high here. And I love the lips and the mouth is slightly better in this one. So I'm gonna deselect this. So next one, let's see. Don't like her expression here. She's standing very straight. It's more maybe. Let's go with it for now. Next ones. Okay, this pose feels a little bit disconnected. Not just because of the distance between her and the mirror, but also because she's not interacting with the mirror. So I don't like them at all. I don't like how she's bending here. Those are a little bit better, but probably no. All right, so like, don't be afraid, you know, to just get rid of photos you don't like. Don't fear that you have. It's better, like, really to be really tough on yourself and to be really, you know, select just the photos you love. Don't be like, ah, uh, maybe it goes if somebody, you know, don't, no. Um, I like the crop in this one better than, than here. That could be nice, but I don't like the crop in the mirror. I like this one. That's okay. I like this better than, than that. And this would be okay. Once again, it's just my crop of the picture is like, I need to see more of her to like get a little bit more of connection. So we're gonna rid of the, this and this is pretty similar and they're like, not so perfect. All right, uh, those were the ones, let's see. Let's take this and let's choose one here. In this case, I like just the focal point here on the back a little bit more. It's a little bit like 
I don't know. Just suits my eye a little bit better. Alright, so that's perfect. And oh, we forgot those. Okay. Don't like the crop. Don't like those. The crop is just not good. I don't know. I don't like particularly like how she sits on the couch here. It's not a flattering pose, even for her. And I actually don't like that she's peeking back at the camera. Okay. Had 14 pictures. Um, it's okay. Especially for a set which was really a little bit tough. Not that easy to shoot. Um, so I'm thinking or I try to think in sets. So we with the, the full body, the, the larger mirror, we have uh, uh, we have nine photos. That's that's okay. Like a larger set for me has in between five and ten photos, and then with the the other the smaller round of mirror, we have about four to five. That's also okay. For me, a set should a uh, small set is in between three and five photos. Let's retouch them and edit them. Um, as you probably already know, I'm using presets. Um, uh, I applied them during the upload into Lightroom Classic. That's my my routine. I love it. So easy. I get. Of the, 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 the overlook um, with the upload. I'm just brightening the picture a little bit. Um, then we have a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too bright here um, by the window. But what I try to avoid, I don't want to like see the window. So if I reduce the highlights and the whites, you can see the window and therefore try to find a point which is not too bright but you can't see the window and the point is about 50 reducing uh reducing minus 50 reducing the highlights about 50 that's perfect all right next one um it's a little bit too bright on her skin here therefore we're just gonna reduce the highlights a tiny bit, minus 25, and to add a little bit contrast, we're gonna reduce the shadows by 50. Gonna correct upright, just a little bit. Perfect, next one. Um, now I'm gonna sync the settings to the next, probably five or six. Um, you can't see the window. I'm syncing everything but transform, crop, healing, and masking. Synchronize. And let's see. That's good. And for me, that's a big part in being efficient and having repeatable and consistent results is just, you know, to, if you have a similar, similar photo, similar pose, similar light situation, like a set that uh, the overlook is similar and by synchronizing uh, you're not just fast, but you get similar results, and then you can maybe just um, just correct one photo, like a little bit. The highlights it's a little bit bright on her skins, and reduce them a little bit. Here the same, like it, like the crop, maybe just a tiny bit closer. 
next one just reduce the brightness a tiny bit get a little bit more details like on her skin correct the upright next one that's amazing beautiful like the upright just gonna crop it a little bit closer I screwed up this pretty pretty bad so we're gonna correct the upright let's see how far we can go good for me this one let's see way too bright I don't want to see the window maybe minus 40 is okay we brighten it a little bit by increasing highlights by 40 so She's not, the skin is a little bit brighter. Correcting the upright. There we go. Next one, also a little bit too bright. Just reducing the highlights by 50. Reducing the shadows by 50 to add a little bit contrast. And we're gonna sink it. To the rest of the set once again check all but transform healing crop and masking here we go like this one maybe just brighten it a little bit brightens just a tiny bit just by 0.3 perfect and that's it i hope you enjoyed um not just the shooting part but also the editing part um i try to give you a little bit more information how i choose the photos it's always a combination of do i like the angle do i like the crop do I like her pose do I like the facial expressions and then like you know just just uh, try to train your eye try to find out what you like what you don't like um, and you know just for me like in the beginning it was very hard to get rid of photos you know I like them and maybe this one and this one but you know just select try to select the best out of the series you know try to like the photos you really like you really love and uh, just go with them it's be selective <laughs> that's really it if you want to see um, the nude set we shot with Julia um, it's uh, out now on our patreon account link is in the description and uh, that's it for this video um, hope you enjoyed it and we will see us uh, next week uh, looking forward to it and uh, yeah have a great weekend see you bye bye